Which you guys got another video for you on older versions of Microsoft Office safe to use in 2024. It goes to show you how misinformed the internet is. If you go searching on the internet, you'll find posts just like this one telling you that Microsoft doesn't want you to know that using a 20 year old version of Office aren't much different than what you're offered in Office 365 subscription. That is completely false and completely untrue. And of course, this is the problem with a lot of internet posts. Now watch the video today on how to get Office for free, but the guy was talking about installing Office 2010, which basically was Office 2010 starter. This is not gonna receive any security patches whatsoever. Uh, now Office 2010 starter come pre-installed on OEM systems like HP, Dell, and computers like that. You would still need a license key for that particular Office product. And if you bought a pre-built system back in the day, like a Dell, HP, or Compaq, or any of those, then you would have probably noticed that it would have had Office uh, 2010 starter on it back in the earlier days, and it was completely free with that operating system. But they would have normally give you a CD back then with uh, a key code on it, and you can then reinstall it. Now, the video I watched was how to get Office for free. Now, of course, using the word Office for free could mean you're going to get the newest Office, but really it was talking about installing Office 2010 Starter. It was talking about this site here where you use a script to install it. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing that myself. That's because this is end of life and it's 14 years old and it's going to have more holes than Swiss cheese in it because it hasn't been patched by Microsoft in such a long time. So using this on a modern day computer would be super risky now if you're using a computer with no internet then it wouldn't be no risk at all now looking on microsoft's uh, office security updates page here this is just some of the updates i wanted to show you that people don't realize how many updates get pushed out for uh, office and also other microsoft uh, products so the problem with older software it just won't receive any latest security patches and the older versions of office can't read the latest document file formats so also, how can you activate the older versions of Office unless you have a key and a CD to install the software? If you don't have that, then you don't have a legitimate reason to install that software. You can already see the amount of updates that have been rolled out for the Office suites and also for Outlook, Word and Excel and all of these other uh, bits of software that Microsoft have bundled in their Office suite. This is a remote code execution vulnerability, and this is uh, for the latest one. You can see there's quite a lot of them available. So I dread to think how many there would be available for 2010, and it's not even getting patched anymore. And if you're putting that on a modern day operating system like Windows 10 or Windows 11, then obviously uh, you're not gonna get updates for it, and it's just gonna leave you vulnerable. It's going to make that um, system vulnerable. You can see right here at the bottom, you can see this patches for 2019, 2021, Office LTSC, and so on. So there's no mention of Office 2010 or even 2013 because those are end of life. They're not going to receive any more updates. So using older software on a modern computer, yes, you may get it working, but at the end of the day, it's not going to receive any security updates or patches. And that means you're going to have vulnerabilities in there, which makes your system vulnerable. So security updates are important for your operating system. And they're also very important for the software that you're using on that operating system, because they can use that as a loophole to get into your system. So using uh, unpatched software is just as dangerous as not patching your operating system with the latest security updates. You can see here, this one is to do with zero day. So as you go through here, we're just in October, 2023, and you can see there is quite a few updates being rolled out for your software. Again, if you're using older versions, you are not gonna be receiving updates for all of these. These are security updates. These are not fancy feature updates that make it look pretty. These are to keep you safe and you can see there's quite a few of them. Now, another point I wanna make here is if you're looking on YouTube for a way to get Office for free, you're gonna to see tons of videos on there telling you how to activate it and how to download it uh, and things like that. And these are using illegal methods like scripts that will go off, download the software, install it, and basically 
uh, activate it for you using a volume activation or KMS activation. And it's not legit. You are going to obviously run the risk of one, getting infected by some sort of rootkit or backdoor being installed on your system, which I've seen on my Discord server where I've had to remove it. And just downloading some script off the internet and running it on your computer to download and activate uh, Office, the latest versions of Office, is just absolutely ridiculous. Yet this is the easiest way of getting infected. And you can see here, I'm just going to quickly scroll through here, and there is tons of updates for the modern uh, Office suite. So you can imagine how many updates would have been continued to be rolled out for Office 2010. This is why it makes it so stupid installing old software like that on a modern computer. It'd be like going on holiday for two weeks and leaving all your windows and doors open in your house and hoping no one burgles it. It's just stupid. People just wouldn't do it. So just be careful with what you install on your actual system today. There is plenty of free options available which uh, are free to use and they're safe. They're called LibreOffice. You can download this and it's completely legit and it works with Office uh, files as well. You've got OpenOffice as well, which is another option you can use. And these will be receiving security updates and patches as well. So they are going to be up to date and uh, be safe to use in 2024. Now, if LibreOffice is not for you or uh, OpenOffice is not for you and you need Microsoft Office and you don't have the funds to buy the Microsoft Office suite to install on your computer, there is a free Office Online version, which you can use. You can sign up and uh, use their free online version, which will give you access to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and all that sort of good stuff on the web. So there's options available. And just so you know, the latest versions of Office are not free. They're all paid software. Uh, you, there is no free version. This is the only free version which is online. There is no free version for you to download and install on your computer. You'd need a license for that. Now, if you do a search on YouTube, you're probably going to see loads of people making videos on how to download Office, the latest versions of Office, and install it for free. Uh, no malware, all that sort of stuff. I would not use this method. These are using illegal methods to download Office and install it on your system using uh, activation scripts and things like that, which have a volume key and also KMS activated. It is not a legit method and it's not 100% safe. I would not be using any of these methods. They've got very high views and Microsoft have started to release an update in January 17, 2023 which is basically going to start to gather data and diagnostic data and performance data from your machine. It's going to send information about what versions of Office you have installed, and it's going to determine the best support and services for that system. Also, it's going to gather some information about whether you're using any sort of piracy uh, versions of Office and things like that as well. It will give them the information they need to be able to see how many people are still using old versions of Office that are end of life, especially when there's free versions available out there like LibreOffice. You can use that or OpenOffice. Anyway, with that said, I think that says about it all really. Apart from really be sensible, don't be using any sort of scripts you see online. They are super dangerous. You have no clue of what they're doing and what they're doing on the back end, uh, installing stuff. It could be downloading and installing files onto your computer, leaving a back door open, and that will leave your system vulnerable. Uh, to remote access or even key login software or anything like that. you just got to be super careful. Anyway, but that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.